I'm Kelly Holmes. We're here in 2009 for Graphics of the Americas in Miami Beach. We're getting ready to take a tour for quick and small commercial printers and thank you for joining us. I'm here today with Kirk Chrysler from Gold Star Printers at the Graphics of the Americas show in Miami. Kurt, tell us a little bit about Gold Star Printers. Well, Gold Star Printers was established in 1972 here in South Florida. Um, I've owned the company since 1988. We're your typical quick printer in that the, the business mix that we have, but we're probably a little overgrown. Our annual sales are right around $2 million. Um, and we have the normal offset, color copy, black and white copy, mailing service, design services. Um, and actually, we do some fulfillment as well. Do you read Quick Printing Magazine? I read Quick Printing Magazine every month. It's one of my favorite magazines. I've been reading it faithfully since since I got involved in the business, which would have been like 1984, 85. Um, what do you like best about Quick Printing Magazine? Um, every month when I get it, I usually end up reading, reading the articles first from the different columnists. That's uh, always my favorite. Then I'll go back and... and read whatever's on the cover, that the, the storyline with the cover. And actually, I keep almost every one of them, um, just use them as references time and again. Um, actually, I get a lot of vendors out of the back. You know, the advertisers in there, too, actually are a big help for me. When I look, look for a special product or service, it's, it's a nice resource tool. Good. Have you ever been to the Quick Printing website? Yes, I've been to the Quick Printing website. I get the emails. I get everything. Good. I'm, I'm a big believer in the magazine. I'm a big believer in the industry. What are some of your concerns about the printing business? Um, my biggest issues with the with the industry itself is is uneducated competition. In other words, competition to me in any industry is great. Unfortunately, in our industry, not enough printers spend time at a show like this, read magazines, attend industry functions, or, or just become educated as what they should be doing. And that, to me, is the most damaging thing about this industry. Hmm. What are some of the affiliations that have been very good for you in the education side of the business? Um, I've been involved in a number of them uh, over the years, um, certainly NAQP, Printing Association of Florida, um, even NAPL and Printing Industry of America. But my, fa my favorites are really Printing Association of Florida and NAQP. How have you diversified your business in the past five years? Um, I added mailing services uh, and actually we've gotten fairly he I don't know, heavily involved, somewhat involved in fulfillment, which has worked out nice for us as well. Um, the biggest thing that's changed about my business in the last five years is actually we've done three acquisitions. And that's been uh, a nice growth tool for us, um, opened us up to some new markets, um, some new demographics, hmm. and, and got us some, some nice employees. Great. What is your best advice to some of your peers in the business about the future? Um, my advice would be that this industry is going to be around for a long time. I mean, we've all heard from years ago that it's going to be a paperless society. society. But the printing industry continues to grow. It's just the printing industry is going to be different than it used to be. I mean, no different than when they got involved in, in offset printing versus setting, you know, hand type. Everyone thought that was you know, such a gigantic change in the industry. But the reality is the industry just changes. That's what it is. The, the, the advice I'd give you is get educated. Going back to what I said earlier, become smart about the industry. Find out what you should be doing. Find out what trends are. Find out, you know, what you should be selling your product for. You know, it's like this is a, this is a great industry. This, and you should be pr we should be proud of what we do. I mean, when you look at, well, what's, it's 2009 right now, but in 2000, when they talk about the most important invention over the last 1,000 years, it was the printing press. And I bragged to everyone I knew about that, because I'm in the printing business. It wasn't an airplane, it wasn't a computer, it was a printing press. And, so, and this industry, in my opinion, will be around for a long time, but the, the, the printers that'll be around for a long time are the ones that spend time at shows like this, getting, you know, read your magazine. Um, spend time at, you know, at educational sessions, just whatever you can to become more involved and more knowledgeable about the industry. Good. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate your help. Glad to help. All right. Have a good day. All right. Have